question is if i is 9 is equal to y what is w plus i plus v plus e plus s if if i plus 9 is equal to w plus i plus v s what is w plus i plus v s this question has been asked in infosys this is a script arithmetic problem for verbal arithmetic or analytic arithmetic this is a problem script arithmetic problem so whenever you get question like this write it in the horizontal format the way we do our addition in our elementary class the way we do our addition in our elementary class what happens if i write it like this Five plus nine is equal to one. This W is definitely going to be one because whenever I add any two numbers, largest two digit numbers, nine ten plus nine nine, the maximum carryover can only be one. The maximum carryover can only be one. I am adding two numbers, the largest two digit numbers. The maximum carryover is only one. So what happens is wherever I have got W is going to be only one. Now I will go for the right hand corner. So any number can be assigned there. So what I want to do is I start from the lowest number. Zero is not possible because zero plus zero has to be zero. It can't be yes. Then I check for two plus two. In case this is two and two, yes will become four. So I has to become two. No, sorry, E has to become two. Now any number can be assigned here. Any number can be assigned here, such that it is e should be two. If e has to be two, then what I can do is I can think of nine and three. Anything is possible. Supposing you think of nine and three, so because there is a carry over here, so this will be four and four. So four can't come here and also for yes. Therefore nine and three is ruled out. Then I check for eight and four. So what happens is. Either this can be four or that can be four, but four is already given, so four is ruled out. Then I go for seven and five. So it is going to be seven and five. It is going to be seven and five. So this can be seven. So this is going to be seven. This will be three and three. Now I is three. I is going to be three. Then I have got yes, nine here. Nine and four is possible, but four is already been given. The other possibility is eight and five. Five is already given. I cannot give it again. Eight and five, nine and four, so seven and six is possible. Seven is already given because there is no carryover from here. Therefore, this can't be five and this can't be seven. I can take it the other way. This can be seven and this can be five. So two and two again comes. Therefore, e cannot be two. Therefore, e cannot be two. I'll check for the next number. This is the way of doing it. When you are doing it in a real-time exam, it might be difficult for you to do one after the other. But practice, you might be in a position to have, you might be in a position to do it faster. So this is one. Two is ruled out. I think for three and three. So this will be six. If this is going to be three, now I can write any numbers for V and S. So what happens is I can write nine and four. Suppose this is nine and four. One carried over. So this has got to be V has got to be nine. So four is ruled out. Four is ruled out. Then I can also write four and nine is not possible because carryover is there. So I'll have to get four if it is not possible. Only two numbers. So even plus odd will become odd. Therefore, V has to be odd in case there is a carryover. I'll check for eight and five. I'll check for eight and five. This will be five and the end will be eight. So this is going to be five. What will happen is I will be two and two. So I will be two here because I is two. What are the numbers that I have not used? I have not used nine. Um, uh, but this has to be definitely eight. N has to be eight because eight is here. Eight has to be there. So the only number possible is four. I have not used four anywhere. So this is the answer. So four four two five three plus eight one eight three will be. One two five three six. There are four or five answers for the same question. I am going to give you only one. There are four or five answers for the same question. You can get E as four and four. You will get an answer. Five and five will get an answer. Six and six will get an answer. 
I don't know what Infosys wants for this. I don't know what Infosys wants. So we'll have to go by the options there. So here, what they have asked is WIVES. So it'll be 1 plus 2 plus 5 plus 3 plus 6. So this will be 9 plus 8 will be 17. 1 plus 2, 3 plus 5, 8, 8 plus 9 will be 17. It is 1, 2, 5, 3, 6. The answer is 17 upper Y. So there will be multiple answers for this particular question. There will be multiple, some questions you don't, you will be very difficult to get an answer. But here you get a multiple answer. So I don't know what they expect from students because when there are multiple answers, they will have to give all the answers, all of this also there. Getting one answer is very difficult. So it depends on the intuition what is to be done. Subscribe to my channel. I will be adding questions here now and then. Wish you all the best.